Hi, everyone. What an amazing event. It's uh, really cool to be here. I'm going to talk uh, about a new feature that we just launched, that we're launching like right now. This is the launch of it. So um, I would like to announce um, Helix Tools. So Helix Tools is the ability to call any API from a local open source LLM uh, that's running in Olama. Um, so the best way to explain it in more detail is to show it to you. Um, I'm going to start by um, here we have Helix. Um, it looks a little bit like another chat interface you might know that I won't name. Um, and what you can see is that we've added the ability to plug in uh, APIs to uh, your chat sessions. And so we've got a couple of APIs here. We've got a products API and a hiring pipeline API. Because I think it's quite interesting to think about when you've got local uh, private LLMs, how you can connect them to your business systems that have private data in them. So we're going to connect this LLM to uh, a products API and a hiring pipeline API. Um, and then I would please like everyone to pray to the demo gods for me. So uh, in the hiring pipeline um, API, we have information about candidates and uh, the jobs that they're applying for. And I happen to know that one of the candidates is called Marcus. So let's say, what job is Marcus applying for? Oh, OK. He's applying for a human resources manager job. Um, well. The products API is actually an API that I can use to buy laptops. So should we buy Marcus a laptop? Yeah? OK. So what laptops do you have or are there available? Let's see what it says. OK, so it's gone to the laptops API now because it identified that it was a question about laptops and it constructed the API uh, call appropriately. Um, and it's given me a list of, of three laptops. So let's see if we can get some intelligence out of the system. Uh, what laptop would you recommend to buy for Marcus, given his job role? Let's see what it thinks. OK, it suggests the mid-range one, and it gives a good reason. Cool. So um, let's. Uh, I'm just going to say purchase that laptop and send the receipt to luke at helix.ml. Cool. It did it. <laughs> so here we have a local model running locally on a Llama that's connecting to an API based on the uh, open API spec. So the next part of the demo is I'm now going to automate programmatically um, interfacing with the Tools API uh, using Dagger. Um, so I'm just going to do a simple call. Uh, so there's a Dagger module for Helix um, that we wrote because we want to be able to test Helix. And Dagger makes it really easy to test it. So I'm going to ask uh, what laptops are available. And there we have it. Um, we're able to make the same calls uh, using um, the, uh, the Dagger module. And I can show you, for example, um, that I'm going to try and grep out. I'm not going to show you my secret key, but I am going to show you that we've got a list of active tools um, enabled uh, for that module. So it worked. Um, so that's integrating an LLM, running on a Llama with corporate APIs, and then also showing that we can run that uh, from Dagger. Let's dig in a little bit quickly. I know we haven't got long, but let's dig in quickly to uh, what we just saw. So what we have is we have some corporate APIs. Um, in this case, on the left-hand side, uh, we have the API for buying laptops. And on the right-hand side, we have the API for looking at the job vacancies and candidates that have applied to them. Of course, these are just demo APIs that we built. But you can imagine integrating very easily with, uh, with your own and whatever APIs you need in your business. Um, you just copy the open API spec uh, into Helix. Helix picks out the different endpoints that it can call. And then we have uh, this technique where you, the prompt goes to the control plane. And the control plane 
kind of wraps that prompt in another prompt. So for example, this prompt here says, um, you're an AI, you are an AI tool that classifies whether a user input requires an API call or not. So that's the first step, is you classify um, the prompt to determine whether or not you need to use tools. And if you need to use tools, then which ones to use. Um, and then there's a second step, which is given that we've selected a tool, there's another LLM call that would go to like Mixtral running in Alama um, to say, OK, well, construct that API call for me. And um, then the system itself will, will actually make that API call. So the way it works is what we saw here was the Dagger module, which we can use to test the system, makes the API call to the Helix control plane. Um, Helix runs uh, a clustered set of GPU runners um, using Olama, uh, as well as um, other model runners. And um, it runs many models on those runners, including uh, Mistral. We're using Mixtral, a um, mixture of experts in this demo, as well as um, SDXL for image generation and things like that. Then um, the control plane runs through this process that I described, that the tools classifier uh, tell, figures out whether or not the uh, model should call an API at all. If it decides that it should call an API and, and which one, then it builds that API call. And then it actually executes the API call um, and goes off to the outside world to do things. Um, just very, very quickly, other things that Helix can do. Um, we can fine tune text. So this was inspired by Llama Index, by the way. So thank you, Llama Index. Um, you can take uh, inputs like PDFs, Word documents, API schemas. This is a really interesting one. Some API schemas are very, very big. Uh, convert that into Markdown. Use a language model, in this case, Mixtral, running in Olama, um, to generate question-answer pairs that are used to train Mistral 7b um, using Axolotl. And then it spits out a LoRa file. Um, you can also fine-tune images uh, using this system, um, using SD scripts or COG SDXL. Um, and then once you have those lower files, either, either for the text or the image models, um, then just like Neo um, in the matrix, when he gets something plugged into the back of his brain, um, the language model suddenly knows how to do that thing that is encoded in the lower file. And um, so this is an example I made earlier of uh, Fry um, holding a fish instead of a pile of cash um, and how I prompted it. So you can also do fun things with it. So just to recap, Helix is clustered Olama with multi-user support and a familiar UI. It's multimodal. It supports image models as well. You can fine-tune models. Um, you can deploy it on your own infrastructure with Docker Compose. Um, and of course, it now has tool support. So um, thank you very much. I'm Luke Marsden. Um, I'm bootstrapping this company. So please reach out to me. Um, and uh, yeah, let's build some cool stuff together. And the, the Dagger module is available there as well if you want to try that out. Thanks very much.